friends, welcome to Creative Art. I am Nalima and in today's tutorial, we are going to make these beautiful DIY resin photo frames. Making these beautiful photo frames are really, really easy and simple. This can be done just within 24 hours, even if you're preparing at the end time for Valentine's. So friends, do try out this amazing idea of making resin photo frames. And friends, do watch this tutorial till the end so you may know all the cons and pros about this DIY. And do subscribe to Creative Art to watch more Creative Art tutorials and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on a recent art form. Now let's check out all the materials we are going to need to make these beautiful resin photo frames. First of all and most important we are going to need some resin and silicone mold. So for resin I'm going to use Expo Art resin from Little Birdie which comes in two parts and once it is cured it is said to be food grade. Next here we have two different shapes of silicone mold. First is my favorite a heart shaped silicone mold which is quite big in size to fit a nice size of photograph and this rectangular silicone mold. Even this mold is just perfect to fit a photograph vertically or horizontally. Next we are going to need some photographs for our mold. So for heart shape I have selected this photograph and for the rectangular one I have selected this photograph. Now for measuring and mixing resin I am going to use an electronic compass scale which looks like this and a silicone cup with few ice cream sticks for mixing the resin and finally for the decoration part I have decided to use a few crushed glasses this time I'm going to use a rose petal few glittering flakes copper color and few crystals and glitters which are from little birdie there are different colors of crystals and glitters available you can select according to your preference and next here we have got a few handmade paper flowers so these are white color paper flowers you can also use a red and if you have a collection of dried flowers like I do have few dried flowers with me roses and different flowers which I preserved myself all these materials will be linked and listed in the description box below so you can buy them online and friends, if you use my code, which is NILIMA5, N-I-L-I-M-A-5, you will get an additional 5% off on purchase of all these materials from itsybitsy.in. Now let's start the tutorial, friends. Now let's start mixing some clear resin. And for that, we're going to use Expo Art Resin, which comes in two different parts. First is clear and second is a hardener from little birdie we have to mix these two different parts in two to one ratio that means two parts of clear resin and one part of hardener before starting mixing of resin do read all the instructions which are given on the back side of this bottle so now first of all we'll start our electronic measuring unit place a silicone cup on the measuring unit and then press the button tear to bring it to zero and now here I'm pouring 100 grams of Expo Art Resin clear. Here we have got 100 grams of clear resin. And now I'm going to add half of this quantity which is 50 grams of hardener which will in all make it 150. finally got 150 grams of clear resin in case you want to measure a small amount of resin you can easily use a measuring spoon two spoons of clear resin and one spoon of hardener make sure you're using the same measuring spoon while measuring both and then using an ice cream stick mix this very well till at least five minutes now friends, first of all, let's start by cutting our photographs into shape or size of the silicone mold we have got. This one is the rectangular mold and this is the photograph I have selected. This one is a heart shape mold and this is the photograph I have selected for it. Turn the mold upside down like this and then using a pen or a marker just mark the lining on the photograph. And now using a scissor, start cutting the photograph from inside of the marking you have made. So 
So this is the cut piece I have got. Now place it inside the mold and you can make any changes just as you want. We need to cut more from this side. And now it finally fits our base. So take it out and do the same for the other piece. Now both the pieces perfectly fit our mold. So let's clean the mold, remove any particles if they are present on the mold. Now after mixing the resin, this is how it looks. Now let's start mixing some gliding flakes in it. Here I'm going to use gold gliding flakes. You can either add gold flakes before pouring the resin or you can also add them after pouring the resin. So now friends, we're just going to add our first layer of resin in both the molds. Make sure to pour very very less amount of resin in the rectangular palette because it is quite thin. Now using a flame torch, I'm going to pop out all the bubbles. I'm feeling to add some more of copper foil. Okay, this is enough of the copper foil, more than enough. I'm going to press it inside the resin as much as possible. Add any other color of decoration you want there to be. Here I also have a pink color foil, so I'm going to add this one. You can definitely add any glitters you like. Now this is so beautiful both our molds look when I have added a lot of gliding flakes of two different colors copper and pink then I have also sprinkled some pink glitters all over the tray and now it's finally time to place the photographs. All the glitter for this one was for the back side because anyhow the photograph is going to cover up everything. For this one we are going to see a little bit of glitters plus a little bit of foil visible all around. Just give the entire photograph a gentle tapping, tap 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 and then we will let it set. Now after placing the photographs in resin I have prepared one more batch of resin and this is how it looks. I'll give it one last mix and then pour it on the photograph. Now I'm going to hold just two sides of this palette and gently tap, tap, tap so that all the bubbles may come on the top from the sides. Just tap 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 in this way as this part looks a little empty so I'm thinking to place a few flowers these are a few dried flowers I have to push in all the flowers inside the resin it's very very important or else the top surface won't be plain okay all the flowers are in resin and now finally friends let's use our gas torch to pop out all the bubbles from the top you have to be very gentle and very quick because overheating the resin may damage your photographs and dry flowers now friends i'll let the resin get cure for 24 hours and then show you how does it look okay now finally, it's been 24 hours, so let's check. Yes, the resin is completely cure. So now friends, we just have to peel the resin off from this mold. So first, gently start by separating the sides of the mold in this way. 
okay once the sides are separated hold the resin and peel off the tray in this way wow the back side really looks so so nice the front side is like this. I'm going to tell you some cons and pros about this DIY. Let me take out both of them. So now the good thing about this DIY is that you can easily frame your favorite photographs using a resin and resin mold. And this is how beautiful it's going to look. But the mistake that I did in this DIY is I shouldn't have used so much of glitters and gold foil on the back side of photograph. Instead, we should have placed the photograph first and then on the empty parts, we should have placed the glitters and foil. And for this photograph, I got a mistake that while placing the photograph, I did a little bit of scratch on this part and then I tried to uh, like merge in that scratch but somehow the photo reacted with maybe the metal or the resin that I got so many scratches here and finally this is how it looks. This was a not a hundred percent successful DIY but I definitely learned a few things from this that first we have to place the resin get it cured for at least two to three hours and only then place photograph and finally you have to end it up with the decoration. So the decoration part should be the last and once you have placed the photograph in the resin do not touch the photo or else you can get scratches like this or some glitter or anything can happen the most important part that I learned is no colors no glitters no foil even no dry flowers on the back side of the photograph so uh, these are few mistakes that we have to avoid while making these beautiful photo frames I hope friends you did learn something from this DIY so do give it a try make it yourself do not commit the same mistakes I did and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial and if you do like my tutorials friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching